When the trailer for Nightmare Alley released, I was not at all intrigued. I wonder if the studio just didn't care, but it seemed like some junk they pulled out of a drawer and said, here's Guillermo del Toro's next movie. Well, even with the disappointing teaser, I went to see it, and it was far greater than the crap I anticipated. So I had no idea this was a remake until after this movie, while looking up movie trailers and interviews. I don't have any knowledge of the original, but Nightmare Alley is a steady yet haunting psychological film about a man being his own worst enemy, and his inevitable downfall. Guillermo del Toro's latest is clever, its assemblage is intricate and masterful, bit by bit as characters come and go as we navigate the macabre and muddy carny tents to the lavish and ostentatious haunts of wealthy elites, each frame rewards the last. Del Toro's usual visual style is on full display here with a beautiful, fully realized world. Everyone in the cast is solid, and it's probably a better adaptation of the book where characters and scenes are given more room to breathe. I was particularly happy with the amount of focus that Pete was given earlier in the film. David Strathairn is excellent, as always, truly one of our best working character actors today. Bradley Cooper gives what is one of my favorite performances of his career so far. I feel bad for this movie, I really do, because while everyone is packing theaters to see Spider-Man No Way Home, and while that movie is going to be breaking tons of box office records, no one is going to go see this movie. Everyone is going to see the admittedly really damn good live action Spider-Man movie, and not to see a film made by Academy Award winner Guillermo del Toro. I mean hell, I saw No Way Home twice before I went to see this, and I feel bad after the fact because I used a free ticket so they didn't even get my money's worth. Now I don't mean to call this boring as I was thoroughly entertained all throughout, but amidst the alluring qualities at every moment of the film, its storytelling still feels somewhat flat at certain moments. This is my only fault for the film. To see it all come together in those final minutes felt rewarding as hell though, and it made up for the length. Del Toro is known for making films about monsters, but still has the overall message that the men are the real monsters. However, Nightmare Alley has no fantasy element or monsters. It's just shining a light on how awful people are, and I dig it, and I think it's worth seeing in theaters. They fool themselves. I've given you a fortune. It's time that you delivered. When does it end? I want to know. If you displease the right people, the world closes in on you very, very fast. Tune in every Friday for new movie videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below what other movies you would like me to do videos on. Thank you, Mom, for editing the scripts for my movie essays. I appreciate you. Till next time, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.